But again, more perspective now from someone who's done a lot of reporting for the border, as well as along the, uh, the route of the Central American uh, caravans, Univision anchor Jorge Ramos. Jorge, the president is saying today that if Congress doesn't fix the problem, he's not ruling out closing the border by next weekend. I mean, does this make any sense to you, the idea that he actually could close the border? And by closing the border, he obviously just really means the points of entry. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, for me, it's simply a presidential tantrum. Because if he wants to close the border, and, and that means basically closing the ports of entry, then these thousands of immigrants that are waiting on the Mexican side are going to go through the desert, so through Rio Grande or through the mountains. And then the problem is simply going to increase. So it, it really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, he has to do many different things. At, at this point, uh, his government is preventing thousands of immigrants from um, entering the United States legally because he's only processing a few hundred um, process uh, applications for political asylum uh, ports of entry. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to close the border right now. What is so uh, strange about, or I, I guess it should be just normal by now, but, but the president's statements that, uh, about cutting off aid to uh, Guatemala, to El Salvador, to Honduras, what's so interesting about them is it is the complete opposite of what his own administration officials, what Secretary Nielsen has exactly. been focusing on, which is, or one of the things she's been focusing on, which is trying to improve uh, connections between the United States and those countries and progr improve programs that will stop people from actually being motivated to leave. She had just signed this accord on, uh, on Wednesday. The press release went out on Thursday talking about, you know, that, that we're stronger together. And then on Friday, the president mm -hmm. basically cuts her off the knees. And, and it doesn't make any sense because the worst president Trump can do if he wants to prevent more immigrants from coming to the United States, it would be to stop financial aid to um, Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Um, for the last few years, they've been receiving about from 700 million to 600 million every single year. And then you might think, well, maybe the money is just going to some people's pockets. Well, that's not the case because most of the money is going to NGOs, to uh, organizations that are trying to prevent crime and to promote uh, economic development. So if, if he wants to prevent immigrants from coming to, to the United States, what we have to do is just to invest more in Central America in order, not now, not in a few years, but maybe in a few decades, to prevent these from happening in 2020 or in 2030 or in 2040. You've, uh, you know, some of the president's supporters say, well, look, if those programs are so successful uh, and they've been going on a while now, how come there's now this uh, this surge of, of people uh, trying to get across? Well, I, actually, I, I've seen some of the numbers and crime has diminished a little bit in some in some of those nations. But but the truth is that uh, and nobody can stop that. I mean, nobody really can stop that. Just a few months ago, I was um, I went to the border between Guatemala and Mexico. There's the Suchate River. You just pay one dollar uh, to cross from Guatemala to Mexico. And then in we have to also to understand that the borders between uh, Central American countries and between Guatemala and Mexico are basically open. Uh, you can cross and no one is going to stop you. And Central American countries and Mexico, uh, they are not the immigration police of Donald Trump. So if these immigrants want to come to the United States, it is very difficult to stop them uh, at the border. And it doesn't matter how much money the U.S. investing or what the governments really want to do, they don't they simply don't have the power to stop that from from becoming a reality. We, we have to understand here in the United States that, yes, we are getting every single year about a million legal immigrants. But also in the, for the last few decades, we've been getting from 300,000 to about a million undocumented immigrants. And um, the U.S. economy has been absorbing them. And it seems that we have to realize that the only way to deal with this is with a, with a legal, in a legal way. In other words, just to, to understand that legally, they are gonna keep on coming and there's really nothing we can do to stop that. I, I talked to Secretary uh, Jay Johnson, uh, who was head of DHS in the, uh, the former administration for a while. He, he was saying that, look, in 2014, there, was, uh, mm -hmm. there was a big increase in numbers of people. One of the things they did was work with Mexico to, uh, to strengthen the southern border, Mexico's southern border, mm -hmm. to stop some people coming across. If that's the case, some might argue, well, well, look, the president threatening to shut down the border is a message to Mexico that they have to get tougher on that on their southern border. And if they could have done it, if they did it back in 2014, mm -hmm. I guess the argument would be, 
Why can't they do it now? Well, because they have a new president. The new president is Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. He's been in power a little more than 100 days. And he has a completely different policy from Enrique Peña Nieto. What uh, Lopez Obrador has been doing lately is to give humanitarian visas to those Central Americans who cannot cross into the United States because um, many of them are simply not allowed. It's, it's taking very, very long time for, the, for them to process their uh, political uh, asylum. So uh, Lopez Obrador is giving them um, legal paper to stay in Mexico, and this is completely different. So, so we, we have restrictions on the American side. We have new visas from the Mexican president. We have a crisis in Central America, and we have a U.S. economy that even today, Anderson, that even today is absorbing and is accepting all these immigrants legally and illegally. Mm. Jorge Ramos, appreciate uh, your time. Thank you.